Okay, let's open this up. <gasps> oh my gosh. All right, guys, I am dumpster diving at Ulta and it looks like there's a ton of makeup in here and skincare. I don't think they destroyed anything today. All of this is inside and these look like they're still sealed. There's a ton of makeup. There's a little mystery box and look at this. There's a huge box here that's filled with makeup and skincare. Like it is so full. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but they didn't destroy anything. Let's start with the mystery box. I got most of the makeup inside. I'm just gonna check it. Sounds like there's stuff in this box. Got it open. So the mystery box has broken makeup. So it just looks like a smashed eyeshadow or blush palette. Right, I took everything with me, but this is insane. This might be my craziest Ulta score yet. Look at all of this stuff. It's all in the box. I'm so excited. I haven't even gone through it yet, but they didn't destroy anything. I pulled out all of the big stuff, but this stuff is still, a lot of it's still sealed, brand new. They luckily didn't destroy anything, but there's just a ton of different stuff, different brands in here, but it's all inside. This is my favorite thing. I'm so excited. I think this is like $130 per bottle, but it looks like maybe sprayed a few times, but brand new. Open some things up. So everything looks like it's brand new. There's some skincare. Here's the Valentino perfume, little mini Clinique perfumes, and there's a ton of those. And then I opened up the Morphe palette and it's not broken. It doesn't even look swatched. Opening things up and everything is still sealed. I'm checking a few here but that's insane. And then the rest of it, there's still this whole box of makeup. Can't show everything without this video being like 10 minutes, but just to show you a little bit, there's things from like Beauty Blender, I see Clinique, Bad Habit, a ton of these bare mineral concealers, but I will probably be posting a lot of this on my website. If you're interested in anything, go check it out, glamourdive.com. I am at Macy's. This is my Macy's dumpster and I see shoes and a ton of shoe boxes. So there's some down there as well. I think they're all filled with shoes. So I'm just gonna jump in and grab. I am so excited. I'm gonna just show you guys what I find. This is what I'm seeing. So all of these boxes, I open them up and they all have shoes in there. They all have matching pairs and they didn't destroy them. I'm gonna just start grabbing all of these out and get them in my car. So here are the shoe boxes. I took everything with me and there are so many shoes. They did destroy three of these. So these three boxes, they did destroy. They are slashed up, but for some reason they only did three because all of these are brand new. These are all red and then these are all black. All right, so here's what they did to only three of the shoes. They slashed up and cut the lace, the straps. So they did that one, they did it like that to that one, and then they did the same thing to this. But for some reason, they only did it to those three because all of these are not touched. Okay, I opened up all of the black sandals. They didn't destroy any of these ones. So there's six black ones. And here are the red ones, same thing. They didn't destroy these ones. A lot of them are still completely wrapped up. So this was definitely one of my most insane scores that I have found at this Macy so far. All right, let's check Burlington. So it looks like there might be some pretty good stuff here tonight. I see some jewelry boxes. This looks really nice. Some toys here. This one still has tags. It's Michael Kors, so maybe a good score. And then this bag here looks like it is filled with shoes. So I'm just gonna start taking a look through this stuff. Some de home decor and maybe some stuff back there too. So I'm checking out this bag and there's a ton of these BB slides and BB shoot flip flops in here. And there might be, like these are Calvin Klein. So just a ton of different shoes in here. Pretty big bag, so I'm just gonna grab it and go through it somewhere else. All right, I'm opening these up real quick. This one is Michael Kors, and there's actually a Michael Kors wallet in here. I didn't even know they sell Michael Kors here. This one is Polo, and it has some men's bracelets in there. So I'm gonna take all this and I'll show you guys in the morning. All right, it's the next morning, and I wanted to show you everything I found from Burlington. So starting out, there are a ton of different flip-flops different brands they're all brand new so some bb there's a pair of calvin klein's and then some guests and then there's a ton of these bb slides and they're all brand new i don't see anything wrong with them 
And then over here we have from Michael Kors and Polo. I'll show you guys a better look at them. So here's that Michael Kors wallet and I don't see anything wrong with it at all. It did get, the box got a little bit wet from the rain, but the actual wallet is completely fine. And then there's also from Polo, I found a box of these men's bracelets. They still have the security tag on them. So I mean, I think a few might be missing. There might be more to the set. So they threw the whole box away. And then the last thing is this jewelry box from BB and it's a really cute sparkly one. Hey guys, I am checking my five below dumpster. And do you see all of that? Those are a ton of calendars. I already pulled all of these out. I just wanted to start grabbing them, but there are like hundreds of them in here. I'm gonna grab the rest of this, but it looks like a bunch of anime calendars. And there's a big box of basketballs and volleyballs, and they almost never have holes. They just need more air in there. So I'm definitely gonna see if I can blow these up and make sure that they're not leaking or anything like that. Okay, just to show you guys how many I filled my trunk with, my trunk is full. There's a ton of these books and then a bunch of calendars. A lot of these are part of like 2023 20, calendar, so there's still plenty of time left, but there's like hundreds of them in here. It's insane. I am checking my TJ Maxx dumpster. I haven't had a good hit here in a long time, but there's some stuff right here. These are just loose in the dumpster. I think there's also a shirt here. Still has tags on. And then there's also this bag here. I haven't gone through it yet, but look at that. That might be a pair of Nike shoes. I can't tell, but I'm just gonna grab this bag, grab all this stuff. I'm gonna check the other side as well and see what we can find. The other side, and it looks like there's a comforter in here. I'm gonna grab it and see. It doesn't look like, oh, they actually did. They slashed up the comforter. I don't know if they got everything in the bag, but hopefully not. There's also, looks like a shirt up here. Doesn't look damaged. Let's see what's inside the bag. All right, I took the bag with me and I ripped it open. There are a pair of Nikes in here, so I'm so excited about that. There's also a jewelry case. And I don't know if you hear that, but it sounds like there is something inside. So we'll save that one for last. But it looks like there's a ton of good stuff. So I'm just gonna start going through it. Starting out, there's some clothing in here. Still have tags. I don't see any rips, but I'll have to check it out a little bit better. So there's two shirts here. And then here are those Nike shoes. They look brand new. Here's the other one. Still have tags. $50. They don't really look like they have any damage. I'm not sure why those got tossed. Maybe a little bit worn on the soles, but looks like that's about it. There's some random stuff in here, like a traveling set. There's another jewelry case. Sounds cool as well dog treats got ripped open no biggie i don't i doubt they're expired nope they're not and then oh a ton of makeup stuff it looks like some makeup and skincare items have to go through that a little bit better i'm just gonna pull oh these are so cute look at those clips clips another box can't tell if there's anything in there we'll save that this is might be one of those sticky bras Oh no, I think it's just a normal strapless bra. Might have been opened up. And then there's also, it looks like a, another shirt. This is, what is this? Calvin Klein shirt. We'll check it out for rips later. And it kind of looks like the rest of this might be makeup and skincare items. I'll just pull the rest of it out of the bag and we'll check it out. All right, so here is the haul of everything I found, a bunch of random stuff, but I'm gonna open up the boxes of jewelry and let's see what's inside. Okay, let's check the boxes now. So this one, it sounds like it has something in there. Oh, it had one of these packages in there, so that one is empty. This one actually has a bracelet in there, $14.99. It is really pretty. This next box, oops. This next box, if I can get it. This one feels empty, but yeah, it's empty. That one doesn't have anything in there. And then this last box, sounds like it has something in there. And this one is, oh my gosh, $130. Did you guys see that price? This one is a 14 karat gold necklace. 
it looks like it may be tangled but i'll check it out hopefully i can fix it but that is crazy 130 dollars okay so it was a little bit tangled but i was able to fix it and just got a free necklace that's crazy